Thomas, hi. Thanks for coming in today. The head office have responded to your standard financial statement. I'm afraid it's not looking good today, Thomas. They haven't gone for the interest only mortgage repayments. Um, I'm sorry. They've also stated that they will have to repossess your apartment. Um, as you know, the arrears have been building up steadily. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that didn't reflect well on your credit rating. The, the non-repayment of the short-term loans, constant overdrawn accounts, the, the online gambling, etc, etc. So, of course, Tom... Fuck you. You, you couldn't give a damn that I'm out in the street, could you? Oh, that's right. You're just doing your job for a dirty wage. Kicking innocent people out onto the street for the arrogant scumbags in suits who drove this country into the ground. Every day, I break my bollocks trying to get some work. Trying to earn a living. Trying to mean something. And with every rejection, Every door that slammed in my face. Every no I hear. The more I realize my talent is being wasted and my life is being sucked out of me day by day by people like you. Truly awful situation that you found yourself in. Now that I come to think about it, it's not just you. You're just the tip of the fucking iceberg. I come home to my apartment. For all I know, I could be living in China. My neighbor, the Asian prostitute, probably came over here for a better way of life. Do you think she found it? In the arms of strangers, with their grubby 50 euro bills that came from the corporate monster whose only care in the world is that it makes a profit. Every day, I sweat before I open the letterbox. The fear of bill after bill, day in, day out. I stack them high in a pile. Wonder how I'm ever going to pay them when I've got nothing coming in. Electricity, gas, Bank overdraft charges, property tax. They all want their pound of flesh. A property management company that brings me to court on a regular basis. A bunch of unregulated fucking cowboys who were allowed by the system to financially rape me again and again. The greedy tax dodging multinationals that pay nothing on their wealth who stand idly by and profit while a nation crawls on its knees. And the government, who lied their way into power, sitting on their holes, lining their pockets and fattening their pensions, twiddling their fingers and letting it be clear that there's no comment to be made about the truth. There's no Mandela's. No Martin Luther Kings, no Gandhis here today. Just a bunch of yes-men, swanning around in their shiny, chauffeur-driven cars with their inflated egos. Oh yeah, they have to hire bodyguards for their protection. That's money well spent, right? And the lies they spin through the usual piss-poor controlled media outlets. There's no such thing as the truth anymore. Feed the masses shite and keep them dumb. All the while kissing the corporate arse of Europe and sucking on the tit of Angela Merkel. It's a wonder we're not all speaking German. So enjoy my apartment. I know you'll sell it for a song. A place where I felt safe. A place I called home. So many memories. 
so many moments. But I'm suffocating now, and I can't go on. This is so far from the life I ever dreamt. I'm fighting for my life. And you couldn't care if I die. My art is my life. That's why I'm here. But it doesn't pay the way. What is art? Some people wouldn't know art if it kicked them in the fucking face. The girl I love is gone too. When money stops coming in the door, love goes out the window. No mun, no fun. And the only way I can get some relief is by whacking off to free porn, because it's the only thing I can afford. And tonight, I can't sleep with the worry and the stress of what tomorrow will bring. But remember this. Life is supposed to be about giving. Life is supposed to be about caring. Life is supposed to be about the little things. So take your fucking keys back. Twenty years from now, there'll be some other bunch of arseholes in power, screwing the next generation over with more carefully crafted lies. My father once said, all you can do is your best, son. How can you do your best when they've taken that too? But today, I'm going to take a stand. I'm going to rise up. This is my 1916. So you can take your house, and your mortgage, and your pennies, and your pounds. Yeats was right. Romantic Ireland's dead and gone. It's with O'Leary. In the grave. <laughs>